Hey everyone, so we've got another image sent in by Andrew Optics here. So this is our third video I think on him. So we are going to be trying to recreate the shot right here. Trying to get the exact same style to the shot. And yeah, if you guys really like his style, you can check out his presets there. He's got them available for you guys. And you can give him a follow down in the description so obviously really warm tones and like there's some teals in there as well and a pretty strong fade in there with those pretty dark harsh blacks so let's get into Lightroom okay so first thing we'll just really bring up the exposure I want to add a pretty strong vignette so we'll do that pretty early on because that will affect the way we edit the rest of the image Um, and I like to bring highlights up so that the vignette doesn't affect the highlights. This image probably doesn't need it, but that's a feature I always use. And coming back up, let's bring down these highlights. So we just want to match up the amount of detail we see in the sky here. So if it was up a bit, you can see that the background there it's starting to fade so I think quite far down is where we want it um, shadows because it's kind of it's kind of moody and dark at the same time whites the brightest spot here is not popping that much. So I'm going to leave the whites down. And then blacks can come down. Because when we add in this fade down here, it's going to bring up our blacks a lot, make them a bit brighter. So you need a bit of extra drop in the blacks here. Okay, so it looks pretty well exposed now and I want to bring out some of the colors and the curves and add a fade in with this one here. So just before I do that, I'm going to drop the contrast because otherwise we'll have too much contrast by the end of the curves. And while we're here, we'll just chuck in quite a bit of clarity because this is quite a sharp looking image um, and we'll quickly do this as well let's bring up some colors okay so onto the curves Okay, so that's the curves done. So adding in a touch more to the midtones and highlights, taking a bit of the shadows, doing it for each curve. So I I just use these curves from my presets. I don't think people uh, do the curves from scratch in every every photo. So usually your curves are done with your presets. So find yourself some curves you like and keep using them for each image. So I have you, <clears throat> I have made these ones to give a bit more of a golden tone. So if we come back up to this one, now we added a lot of contrast in with the red, green, and blue channels. So we were able to pull off a pretty strong fade as well. So just a nice gradual one there and let's move on. So I think split toning is probably what we want to do next. So let's add in a lot of warmth into this image and we'll go for it in the highlights because as you can see it's very, very warm. 
in those highlights. Shadows, more, a bit more of a purpley blue down there. Okay, so we should be able to finish it all with the HSL. So let's start with some obvious tones. Say the yellows need to be more orange. See, we're just way too yellow. the greens we've done a few tutor tutorials on his images and the greens are always really warm and completely desaturated so I'll just move them across so we've got some blues and aquas up here so you, it's pretty hard to know which one they are yet until you play around with them they seem to be both at the moment so what we've got to do is figure out so there's quite a bit of purple up in the sky so I think and then as you can see the purple doesn't affect that so that must be done with the blues so I want to keep the blues towards the purple and then I want to shift the aquas to get this nice greeny teal look And we'll just drop the luminance of those. Um, right. Let's move these reds. Um, before I do any more colors, I think I just want to bring out the middle of the image. So let's just do a filter. Okay. Got to invert it to affect the middle. And I just want to add in a lot of warmth. Let's do some contrast. Maybe brighten those highlights. come down to saturation maybe looking a bit too saturated so definitely these greens over here need to go all the way down uh, these blues can come down the sky as well so we'll drop the blues rather than the aquas yellows Um, what about, let's come back up. Let's 
change some of these oranges to more of a red. More of an orange for the reds. Not many reds in there at all. You can see a tiny bit of them. Um, purples. And I think I just want to brighten up one spot of the image. So just over here, there's a lot of light that I feel like is more exposed. And yeah. I think that's looking all right. Yeah, I'll just leave it there, guys. I hope you guys liked that one. And if you like these tutorials, check out the presets, guys. Just getting a ton of feedback on those. I'm loving how you guys are tagging them in your Instagrams and showing how they are changing your editing. So, yeah, you can check out his presets as well. He's got them over on his Instagram if you really like his style and yeah go give them a follow down there down in the description guys thanks for watching catch ya in the next one cheers